the flying capacitor converter idea is both simple and ingenious. Consider this schematic. Let's say input voltage is 10 volts. C1 capacitance is 1000 microfarads. C2 and C3 both have capacitance of 100 microfarads. The circuit has only two states. During phase A, A switches are engaged and B switches are open. During phase B, B switches are engaged and A switches are open. So whilst in phase A, current follows this path, which means C2 and C3 are basically connected in series. As their capacitance is the same, they are charged to have the supply voltage each. So we got 5 volts here and here. Now phase B begins. C3 stays where it was. C2, however, is reconnected. And if you look carefully, you can see that it is now in parallel with C3. So currents of C2 and C3 add up. And at the output, we have half the input voltage and double the input current. If you're interested in building such a converter, here's its full schematic.